Hello, this is the Excel Chapter 4 Grader Project. Okay, so after you save the page as your instructor wants you to do it, I saved it in our style, we will begin. So you have already opened up the, the file and uh, the step two will be to freeze the first row on the fleet information worksheet. So the fleet information worksheet, and we're going to freeze the first row. So we will go to sorry about that. Freeze top row. So the top row is frozen. Now we're going to convert the data to a table. Name the table inventory and apply the table style medium 19. So the first thing we'll do is to, since we're converting, it'll be like an insert table. Make sure it's the right area. We're going to say OK. Then up here in the table name, we're going to change that to inventory. And then we're going to apply the table style medium 19. So table styles, we're looking for medium 19. Now we're going to remove the duplicates. You don't have to go anywhere, stay in design. Come over here, click on remove duplicates. This will show up and say OK. Three duplicates removed. Now we're on step five. We're going to sort the table and give it three levels. So the easiest way to do this is to go back to home. Sorry, data. And then you'll notice that sort is not highlighted. So what you can do here is to just Rehighlight it. Now that this is uh, on, you click it, then this will show up. And the first uh, sort level is, is by make in alphabetical order. So I am going to choose make. It's A to Z. Then we're going to add a level. And the second level is by year, smallest to largest. And we're going to add another level. And this is going to be the sticker price. smallest to largest, we're going to say OK. OK, for step six, we're going to repeat the field names on all, ta uh, on all pages. So we will go to Page Setup, go to Sheet, right here, Rows to Repeat at Top. It'll be the first row. Enter and OK. okay. Step 7, it says to change page breaks so each vehicle make is printed on a separate page. So as you can see here, the makes there are a couple of makes, so we have to just add new page breaks. So the page breaks are right there, so I am going to go down between the BMW and the Chevy. And the way to do this is you click on the first one of, of the new page and then you put in the break insert page break and there it is so after Chevy we're going to go to Ford page break insert page break then click on the first Honda then page break insert page break then the first Toyota Page break, insert page break. We're all in page layout. Step eight says to add a footer with a name on the left, a sheet code in the center, and the file name code on the right. Okay, so again, the easier way to do this is to go into page setup. Go into header footer, custom, excuse me, custom footer. 
and that was the custom footer. Then on the left, you put in your name, and in the center, what do we want for the center? We want the, the sheet name code. So you kind of highlight one of these little guys, and there it is, the sheet name code. And then we want to put in the uh, file name code on the right. So we kind of click on the right side, file name code, not the file path. Here it is, the file name code. So that should show up. We're going to say OK. And there it is. Now we're going to uh, align this later in one of the steps, and this will work, work its way out. Step 9 says to uh, go to the sales information and convert the data to a table and name the table sales. And we're going to apply a, a distinction there too. So, again, we could go ahead and highlight the table. insert table we're going to create the table and then we're going to name the table sales and then apply table style dark 11 so I'm going to go in here here's dark there's dark 11 table style dark 11 Step 11 says to add a new column in E1, and we're going to call it percent of sticker. Enter. And it kind of fills itself in. Excuse me, that was step 10. Okay, so now it says to create a formula with structured references to calculate the percentage of the sticker price in column E. So on the very first one here, I'm going to go in there. Since it's a formula, so we're going to start off with a equal sign. And it's a, we're going to find out what is the, the percentage of the sticker prices. So we will be clicking on the sales price, dividing it by the, the sticker price. Enter and all the numbers fills in. Then it's on step 12 says to format that this range. So I'm going to highlight from 2 to 30 with the percent style number format. There it is. Okay, step 13 says to add a total row. And the easiest way, to, again, to do this is to go ahead and highlight the, the table. And when you do that, and you go into the table designs, OK, so if you want to add the total row, you highlight the, the table. And then it should show up under styles. But if it doesn't, it is control shift T, you know, show up down here. But we want a average of the sticker price. So you click on the down arrow here and change that to average. Okay, and also we want the uh, sum of the sticker price and the sales price. So you click on those and you change that to the sum and change this to the sum. And then the numbers will show up correctly. Step 14 is to auto fit the uh, column widths from B to E, which, which we've done. OK, so for 15, we're going to apply the solid blue data bars conditional formatting to the sticker price. OK, so we're going to be in percent of sticker price and 
condition of formatting, data bars, solid blue. Okay. Now step 16 says to select the range E2 to E30. And apply yellow fill and bold font uh, uh, values to the values that sold for less than or equal to 70 percent. So we're going to go to conditional formatting. Go to new rule. Actually, we, we could use some of the others, but and then we're going to say format only cells that contain. And this is the formula that you will be used. You want the cell value to show up, not between, but less than or equal to 0.7. And then for the formatting, we want the yellow fill. And then for the font, we want bold. Say OK here and OK here. Now we're going to rename the first quarter sheet as first quarter. Right click, rename, then just take away sales. Now we're going to uh, step 18, filter the data to display just January, February, and March sales. So that'll be in date sold and get rid of them all then we want January February and March okay now we're going to add a footer with your name on the left side and the sheet name code in the center and the file name on the right okay so we're going to go through the same thing so we will go to Page layout, page setup, go to header footer, footer, put in Joe Cool. And these are for the different sheets, so you have to do this more than once. And the sheet, the sheet name in the center. And then on the right, the file name. OK. And OK. Then we're going to select landscape orientation for all sh sheets. So, so to be on the safe side, we're on the first quarter. Orientation, this is in layout. Landscape. Sales information landscape and fleet information orientation landscape and now we're going to save and close the workbook and submit the workbook as directed